Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here. Michael on this Monday afternoon. Today we're doing legs and some triceps. So of course the movement of choice uh, today is squats. Free weight squats that is for the old legs. Look how far down I'm getting. I'm getting so good at squats guys. Lots of practice over the years and Lots of determination and and uh, struggle have gotten me to where I'm at. I'm not perfect, but I am way beyond where I used to be. And I can pretty much get to that form right there all the way up to 365, as you'll see. Very happy today with my workout. Could not be much happier, I do not believe. And uh, of course, we're just warming up here with 135. We're doing two sets. Um, I like to warm up a little bit here before we hit the old big numbers, you know, the big weights. Uh, not real big weights, but big weights for me. Uh, so yeah, squats are not my strong point, but I really have worked on them and I'm making myself more and more proud every week. And uh, I'm not going for any sort of a one rep max PR anymore. I stopped doing that and I topped out pretty much at 365 and uh, Low and slow. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that and uh, you know considering the ailments that I do have uh, I'm happy to even be walking. Good. So here we got 225 and let's take a look at this uh, range of motion that I get that I can't believe I'm getting anymore. Look at that. That's crazy, guys. And uh, I notice if I make sure I go down far enough and my elbows go past my legs, I know I'm going down far enough. And I do take a little wide stance. I'm not doing like sumo stance or anything outrageous, but my feet are take just slow and low, baby. probably a good slow shoulder and low. width apart at least. And uh, I've tried doing squats with my stance more narrow, and I just can't do it. I, I don't have... The structure, the mobility, you know, with my back and my hips and knees and all oh, that. Oh, yeah. I got a host of issues. So I'm lucky to be doing anything at all. But uh, I'm real happy with this. And check out 315. Uh, very happy with that. Look at that crap. Good Lord. I couldn't have done it. There we go. 10, 15, 25 year ago if I'd have tried. Heck no. 365. Back, then, back in the day, I wouldn't put as much effort into some of these as I do now. Now, I did do squats years ago. I did plenty of squats, but nothing really in line with what so I do low. now. You know, I'm really persistent and consistent with my working out and really trying to better myself at some of the things. And uh, here we have 365, and that's pretty much where I top out at uh, as far as doing like a decent rep, a decent range of motion. And uh, I'm really happy with this. And uh, we do another set after this, and it's even better. So, look at that. Not too bad, guys. I mean, that might not have passed, you know, at a, at a competition, but uh, it passes. 365. Beat down. Set number two. And uh, we do one more time because I think, uh, I think I got a little bit more in me here. That's what she said. And uh, I think I can go down about an inch more. Uh, it's about comfort, guys, because one wrong little itsy bitsy move and my back is gone. So I have to be careful what I do and really think about everything like before I do it big time, which is what everybody should do uh, before you get in the predicament that I'm in. Look at that. Not bad. It went down just a smidge a bit more than the first rep. A smidge a bit. I'm happy with that. And then Let's here, get another set with 315. We're doing 315. Nice, as slow I'm and low. Uh, nice, slow and low, guys. Let's do it. Going back down, working our way back down. And uh, we do a couple of good reps here as well. Yeah, uh, guys, it takes hard work. It takes consistency, persistency. It takes just It just takes a lot of effort on some of these lifts. Uh, and and you got to stick with it. Don't give up. Uh, you got to stick with them, guys. That goes squats, deads, bench, curls, shoulder presses, you know, bent rows, shrugs, whatever it is that you're doing. You know, all those moves 
you know, it takes it takes uh, some practice to really hone in your skill on some of these moves and to find your comfort zone. All right, let's do 225. And, uh, to really to really know your body and uh, and feel comfortable slow and slow. really doing let's this kind of weight. You know, now I know I know 365 is light weight for squats. Those guys out there doing 1,500 pounds and normal guys, normal I say, <laughs> like me doing 500 pounds. So I know my weights are nothing, but you know, to each, you know, each of us has our own strengths, and uh, we kind of we have to compete with ourselves, and that's all I do. I don't compete with nobody else. I might get inspired by other people. Look at that depth. I get inspired by other people to maybe try something or do something, but as far as what I'm able to do and the weights I'm trying to move and all that, it's it's me versus me, and that's the way it's always been. So, man, I'm so excited about that depth right there. Again, that's probably what she never 225. said. <laughs> 225. 225, guys. One set. more set of these bad boys, and they'll finish me off for the night on my legs. Slow and I'm going to switch over to triceps. Slow and low. Just overall, really happy with where I'm at on my squats. You know, sure, I would love to get 405 for one rep. That would just tickle my little, my little, I don't know, my, my tickle my funny bone. I don't know. It would tickle something. I, I don't want to say what it would tickle, but it, it would tickle me pink. How about tickle me a little pinkage um, if I could get 405? But I just, you know, my back just don't like it. I can do bench squats. You know, I can be 405 pound on my bench squats, but I have a tall bench. So, but I could go down a smidge a bit more on that as, as well if my bench was a little shorter. Uh, I, I'm comfortable enough to know I could probably be a little lower, but it's holding So, I'm going to do some laying own. down uh, two handed dumbbell skull crushers. I call them skull crushers. They could easily be called a French press, laying down French press, or any. I call them skull crushers. So, so there we go. Sorry. Uh, I wanted to make sure you heard my explanation there why I've. Uh, what I'm going to do and uh, the movement I'm doing here. So I'm going to start out with the 50s and uh, we're going to work our way up to the 100s. Come on, Mike. Get it going. Oh, get it going, bro. Let's get that done. So we just got some little old 50s we're going to warm up and then uh, we'll jump up pretty heavy here, guys, after this. So. Yeah, this right here is a good movement. You can do it with a barbell or an easy bar or whatever you want to do. But there's something about using just a single dumbbell, and I believe it's because it makes you hold your arms in really close. You don't get a lot of play in your elbows. And a 100-pound dumbbell feels totally different than a 100-pound easy bar. All right, we got the 80s. Eight zeros. There we go. We got the 80s. Uh, one of my 80s has kind of got a loose head on it. I need to find somebody to weld it. So I try to make sure that I can luck out and get the, the one that's not loose. I, don't, I really don't need these to be a actual skull crusher. So don't want to die. Although dying by weight would be at least pretty cool, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to crush my beautiful face, though. Don't want to... Don't want to damage the goods. So let's go on up to the hundreds. Woo. For the hundred pounders, I, I, I wear gloves anymore when I remember. I wear gloves because when you hold them like this, your skin gets in between the inner, the inner ring, the inner stopper, and a plate. And it likes to squish your skin right there. So that's not very comfortable. Yeah, what I just said. So let's grab this old hundred pounder here and uh, kick some butt. Whew. Whew. <clears throat> 
All right, guys. I'll let you finish watching the video. I'll quit the old voiceover narration deal right here and let you finish watching. So enjoy the rest of the video. Just another set left after this one. And then we close the video down. I appreciate you. Have a good day, week, month, year. And uh, keep kicking butt, guys. See y'all later. Anyway, I need to go on and wind things up. I got my lean ground turkey cooking in there. I'm gonna make some lean ground turkey uh, burgers and uh, fry me up one potato to go with it and uh, enjoy my dinner. And I'll upload some shorts later of my squats. So I hope you all check them out. And I uh, appreciate everybody being here. I really do, it means a lot to me. Uh, have a good Monday, a good rest of the week and like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, hello. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. We'll see you next time, guys, on the Body Beatdown. See y'all. Appreciate you. Have a good week. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.